so I have 10 minutes until the school bell rings and I'm going to try to create a Kahoot for my students. So I have Kahoot window open. Uh, so I'm going to try to do that in under five minutes so that I can use it in my period three. So let's see. So I'm going to start by going to Kahoot and create a Kahoot. And I shall click create and I will go to uh, add a question. So this has to be a quiz format. I'm going to click on import spreadsheet and I'm going to download the Kahoot template. So if you click on it, that's an Excel file. So it should open up probably in Microsoft Excel, depending on how you're set up. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to copy into this chat bot what I've already prepared as a question. I'm just going to modify it. So I'm going to put this uh, prompt in the description of this video. So I'm doing this for a different class. I've done this before, but I want to do it for a different class and a different uh, topic. So I want to do it for, uh, we're doing domain and range. So this is a, a grade 11 math class. So I'm just going to say, you can change this to whatever you want. So domain and range of various functions for a grade 11's functions class. That's what I want. That's what I'm teaching period three today. So I'm going to run this, see what it gives me. Okay, so at first glance, it was kind of wonky. So there were, in my last column, uh, it should be just numbers because it should be giving me which uh, column is the correct answer. Uh, most of it was, but there were some where it seemed to have gone off. So I had to interact with it. I'm trying to come up with the perfect prompt where I don't have to interact with it. So if anyone does, that would be great to share. But uh, so far, I've still had to interact. But let's see. So this seems to be a little bit better. I can see there seems to be a problem in this column here, but I'm just going to uh, let it be and see what happens. So it's still going. Actually, sometimes it times out. And so let's just, I, I for the purposes of this video, let's assume it timed out. I'm just going to take not the 25 questions, but whatever was there. So I'm going to take these questions here. All right. So control C, control V into the template that was given to me. Okay, I'm going to save. I used the shortcut control S and then I'm going to go back to Kahoot and I'm going to go select file and I had saved this. It's called this. It's this one. Uh, and then I'm going to upload and see what happens. Okay, there you have it. I'm going to add questions and it should populate it with all those questions. Unfortunately, question one and four, it seems to be a problem. So I'm just going to delete them for now, just because I don't have much time left. So I could keep interacting with these things. Okay, so questions one. Oh, question one is a problem because I copied the headers. So I shouldn't have copied the headers. I did that the last time too. So control C, I'm just going to fix what uh, I'm going to copy it here. So that should fix question one. And then question this one didn't have a correct, this one didn't have an answer. So I'll just, so actually I just read the question and I'm just going to, I put in manually the, the correct answer and I'm going to say, uh, this one's in French. So basically I'm just saying a save so I can also just do control S and do it again. The same thing I did. So back, I'm going to try again, upload. Uh, okay. Select file and go back. And this time it should work. Cross our fingers, upload. Whoop. All right, go back. Uh, I had to hit pause and fix the problem. So I actually already did this without, uh, no, I don't need to download this again. What am I doing? Select file. Select file, go fix my corrected version, open, upload. Yay. Okay, there you go. Add questions and it should have all the questions with the answers and that's it. So click save and uh, Actually, last thing, I forgot to delete question one. Question one stays there all the time, so you just have to uh, go delete it, delete, and now I'm good to go. So save uh, this time, and I can give it a title or a description and continue, and that's it. So we're ready to start the game in my next period, under five minutes. Woohoo!